I know it's, if you're working on like specific moves, but you have to be able to zoom out once in a while and just realize you've already won. So like a lot of my guys will come to me like, oh, I'm not getting the finish, I'm not getting the finish. I'm like, okay, well, what position did you start in? They're like, oh, I was on bottom and guard. What position did you end up in? Top side now, or back. They're like, but I'm not getting him to tap. I'm like, yeah, but you went from guard to back, so who cares? All right, we'll get him eventually. So when I'm here, and I'm on my guillotine, sometimes it's this hand showing up that keys off that Darce switch, right? Other times, we're just here. So this foot that was over the top of the back, it steps way out, and then I sprawl. So I went from guard to front headlock. Now if I want, I have easy access to Darce variations, or to keep life more simple, I pull his elbow away, my knee comes behind, and now I have easy access to back kicks. So, one thing that will happen, especially against people who have good like gyroscope hips that kind of self-level, and they're good at playing the game of like doing enough to stop you, but still being able to get you back to the next thing, right? Because none of this stuff is unbeatable. If Chris knows my game and he's seen the variations, even if he doesn't understand what I'm doing, if he just intuitively feels the stove is hot, he'll be able to come back and, and prevent whatever's going on. So let's say we're here, I dive to the side, he boat, he bases with his near hand to stop, and then as I go to finish, he grabs my hand again. And then I try to go again and he bases again, and he's just playing that game with me, right? So I can go through my variations and try to catch him, or I can just back off, let his arm drop past my rib cage, and then slide to the back. And now I can do whatever back taking variations I like. I have a bunch that I'm very specific about, but I'm sure everybody has stuff that they enjoy. Also, because my knees already slid onto the inside here, I like to do a lot of crucifix attacks from here. Isolate the arm. And then even if I want, this is bonus stuff right here. Get the crucifix, slide under the chin. <laughs> Same finish again. So one of the meanest guillotines in the game is to come off a crucifix into that um, guillotine. So basically what I'm saying here is if as you're going through the guillotine they keep rolling onto their back, great. Bottom to top. Sweep, two points, good in every single grappling rule set. We like that, life's good. Um, if you get stalled out and they're not moving, just sprawl your legs back and run around them. If you told me I could start a fight and I had a choice of guard or sprawled out on the front headlock, I would always choose sprawled out on the front headlock. So I'm just moving to that position. It's very difficult to stop me. In order to stop my legs from leaving, you have to put pressure on my hips in order to put pressure on my hips, my hands are now free to work, and now I can start switching up my variations and, and doing different grips to get the finish. When your hands come back in to try to fight my hands, now I can free my legs, or I can off balance you for a sweep. So the whole game fits together, right? And as you guys go down the, the road playing all these different variations, you're gonna come through. So I want you guys to feel comfortable with that. We're gonna lock in on our J hook, we're gonna plant our foot, way behind us, and now our other leg is just gonna shoot back through to the sprawl. A lot of times I just go elbow over the top of his elbow so I can slide his elbow in to make room. And then just come to the back. We'll stop right there for the time being. Make sense? One more time. Arm and guillotine. Top leg, back, bottom leg, under until I'm sprawling. Elbow to elbow, I press his elbow towards his head, so now he can't block my hip as I go around. My knee steps in, I swing over the top. I like to immediately tuck my hand in, high on the inner thigh for this spiral ride, just so I have a little bit of extra control. Easy, eh? All right, let's do it, ready? One, two, three. Nice. 